Worldwide, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy Twin. Really? So, so, so you're going to be editing this video? Yeah. Why? <sighs> okay. Whatever. Just do what I normally would do, and everything should be fine. Okay. All right. Where was I? Yeah. Today's date is Thursday, February the 27th. And this is something that I wanted to do ever since I did that JT Gilly video where I basically reacted to the things he tweeted towards my answer in terms of making the game better, things of that nature. And there's one thing that he said that I did not elaborate on at all. And that is the issues with the legendaries. And what I mean by that is this. There are some legendaries that are basically not useful or they're weaker than regular Pokemon, which is a problem. It is a serious... Can, can you remove the, the clown face? No, this is, this is not Looney Tunes. I'm not Bugs Bunny, you're Emma Ferd. I'm not Daffy Duck and you're Bugs Bunny. Just stop. Just edit it like normal, like I would, would normally do it, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's just continue on. So, what am I talking about? So, again, there are, and you probably should know this. In fact, I believe FAW Videos did a video about this. It would not surprise me if Count Gensler did a video about this as well. But I really want to get into this because this is something that's been bothering me for a really, really long time. And even though you never see the frustration or the anger in my face, that, that, that don't mean make my face look angry or scary. Thank you. Just because you don't see it on my face, that doesn't mean I don't think about it all the time. Like once in a while, thinking about, I would think about it rather, but now, ever since I saw that tweet, it's been on my mind for a good minute. So I want to look at and see exactly which legendaries are weaker than normal Pokemon depending on its type. But before we get to that, remember it, it's February and the month of February is almost over. In fact, my next video that would be coming out, it would be March, March the 2nd, actually. So, go back to the video that I did around the start of February, where I was looking for more African-American Pokemon Go content creators. So far, I only found one, and that is the shiny one. So, you should be seeing channel right here. And the only reason why I found out about his channel is because he basically tried to get Mr. Seven to check out his channel for the longest. But, yeah, that is his channel, and he does nothing but Pokemon Go stuff, although it's been a few weeks since he uploaded anything, unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, there he is right there, the shiny one, so that's another one on the list right there. Alright, so with that out the way, let's get on to the meat of this video. So as you can see over there, over there, here are a list of dragon types in the game. The best dragon types in the game, that is. So as you can see, there's some Pokemon that are not even in the game yet, like uh, Kill. I'm how you pronounce that joint. But the number one dragon type, we all can agree with this, is we're crazy. So you're probably thinking, there's no issue here, right? Which is true, but if you go down the list, let's look through this here. We're gonna, we, we're gonna ignore that other legendary Rashi, Ram, how you pronounce the joint? Salamence, Dragonite, Dialga. Last I checked, Dialga is a legendary, right? Exactly. So why is the Alga behind Salamence and Dragonite? Neither one of those are legendaries. But yet the Alga is, and yet it is still considered not better than Salamence and Dragonite by Pokemon Go Hub that is. Now me personally, I think it is better because it got pretty good defensive stats because of the fact that it is also a steel type. We get more steel types later. But that is still kind of crazy to me. Now, we ain't done with this category though. After Dialga, we finally got Latios, which is a legendary. But after that, Palkia. Now, going off the movie where it was Dark Ride, Dialga, and Palkia, Dialga and Palkia was evenly matched. If memory serves it correctly, they were evenly matched. So, how is it that Palkia is weaker than Latios? Even though they're both legendaries, how did Palkia is weaker than Latios, according to this? That made no sense to me. So that's basically it. That's all I want to cover with the dragon types. Now let's move on over to Electro types. Oh, this is going to be fun right here. 
This one's going to be fun right here. So assuming that it loads up, 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 assuming that it loads up. Could could you stop looping me? Thank you. And finally, this loads up. So we're gonna ignore Zekrom. How you pronounce that joint? Because he's not in the game yet. Electrifier is the number one electric type Pokemon in the game, and I'm like. Ryko and Zapdos. Um, again, those two are legendaries. Electrifier is not a legendary, but yet it's still considered better than Ryko and Zapdos. That should not be the case. All right, let's move on to another category. So now we're going to get on to the flying type. And this one's iffy. This one's iffy. So the number one flying type in the game apparently is Dragonite, which is awkward. But then, and again, not a legendary. But then let's, let's look at what follows. Moltres, legendary. Zapdos, legendary. Lugia, legendary. Wakrazer, legendary. So Dragonite is a better flying type than four legendaries? No, especially you. No, 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 no. That's not realistic. That is not realistic. And then let's keep things moving. Hunts Crow, not a legendary. The homie Charizard, also not legendary. Ho! -Oh. Which is a legendary, and yet Ho Oh is weaker than Hunch Crow and Charizard. Charizard, I, okay, because of favoritism, I can understand Charizard, but Hunch Crow? No, no, no. And then after Ho Oh, we got Tornadus. Now, this is why this is a crime right here. Because every single Pokemon that I named prior to Tornadus, legendary or not, they are not pure flying types. None of them are pure flying types. But yet, here we have Tornadus. Which is a pure flying type and a legendary, and it's not the best of his class. That makes no sense. That really, really don't. Let's keep things. Why? Why did you? What was that? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep things moving. Let's let's just keep things moving. Fire types, good old fire types. So we're gonna ignore what their number one is, which is that Pokemon. I'm gonna try to pronounce his name. Uh, but we got Darmanidin, how you pronounce that joint? Which, if memory serves correctly, is in the game. And apparently the best fire type in the game. No, ahead of Entei, which is a legendary. No, that should not be correct at all. Alright, let's keep things moving. Chandelure, not a legendary. Then we got Moltres, which is a legendary. And then Heatran, which is a legendary. So Chandelure is better than Moltres and Heatran? No! Let's keep things moving. Charizard. Not a legendary, but my favorite. Typlosion. And then Ho Oh. Which is a legendary. Again, no, that should not be accurate. That should not, it, this should not be the case. This should not be the case at all. Alright, so let's keep things moving. Let's see. And next up on the list, we got grass types. So grass is iffy. Grass is iffy. So apparently Tangrove, why, why is that there? What is that? Get rid of that. Thank you. Tangrove apparently is the best grass type in the game. Next up is Venusaur. Then we got the two Executors. And then Breloom. And then Leafeon. None of these are legendaries, by the way. And then Torterra. And then Roserade. And then Verizon. Not did on purpose. Verizian. Yes, it is funny. Now get rid of that text. But let's get back on top of your hand. I named about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pokemon that were not, none of them was legendary. And finally, we get to this one. Now, granted, how strong is Verizian really? Like, not, not, not in Pokemon Go. I'm talking about, like, in the world of Pokemon in general. How strong is this legendary? I'm not saying every single legendary or every single mystical should be top of his class and everything else should be way right down here. But how strong should Verizian be? That's, that's my question for you guys. I have I truly have no clue. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it should be that far low. I think it should be stronger than both Executors and Breloom and Leafeon and Roserade. Now, in, for, now in, ter in terms of Torterra, I don't know. Venusaur, probably not. And Tangrove, yeah, Katango looked like a joke to me, but um, that's beside the point. 
So yeah, I'm gonna hear your comments. You know, leave your comments right in the comment section below about Verizon. How strong you think Verizon should be? All right. Oh yeah, this is the one here, ground type. Let's get to good old ground type, shall we? So here's what we're going to. You know what? Bruh, as soon as I get done working on this video, I'm going to. Did you just edit the gun out of my hands? He he edited the gun. I can't believe this. He actually added the gun out of my hands. And I don't know where the other one is. Where's the other one? He pro it you know what? I I I'll do it. Let's just move on. Ground types. So, number one on the list. Guard child. Followed by something that's not in the game yet. Then Swamper. Which I look at that and I see mostly a water type. I know it's part ground as well, but it's 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 blue. So I, I look at that and say, oh man, that's a water type all day. But moving on, Rhyperior, Mammoth Shrine. We're gonna ignore that legendary because not in the game. Then Groudon. So at one point in time, Groudon was without question the best ground type attack in the game. But according to Pokemon Go Hub, that's not the case. That's not the case. In fact, some might argue that Exadrill, you should pick that ahead of Ground On. And I don't know about and Don Fan. Some people will argue about that as well. But Ground On, come on, bro. Ground On should be number one without question. That thing, one, is a legendary. And two, is an absolute beast, whether it's in Pokemon Go or in the Pokemon World in general. Ain't mean to tell me that the likes of Swampert, which is also a water type, and Garden Chop, which is also a Dragon type, and Mammoth Swine, which is also an Ice type, is better than Ground On in terms of Ground types. No, that should not be the case. First of all, Swampert, in my opinion, Swampert, like his primary type is Water, and Garden Chop, his primary type is Dragon, and Mammoth Swine, his primary type is Ice. So it makes no sense for me, to me, that these three Pokemon are better Ground types than ground on, which is a pure ground type. That makes no sense to me. All right, let's move on. Speaking of ice, let's move. No, stop, stop. I do not want, no, stop, stop. We do not want this video to get taken down. Just stop, stop, stop. And don't play that Weird Al version, the rice rice joint either. Don't know. All right, let's, let's move on. What, what's next? Ice, that's right. No more ice attacker. Mammothron. Next up, Glaceon. And then Revile. Well, you can interchange those two, whatever the case may be. We go to Nora, Rotom. Rawin? That's new to me, but okay, whatever. Beer Tech? That's new to me as well. Okay, whatever. Then Cloyster? And then Articuno? Yeah, see? That's the problem. And some people would put Jinx ahead of Articuno. Some would put Pillow Swine ahead of Articuno. But. Come on now, again, all the Kuno is a legend, and you know how I am when it comes to the OG, the first generation, I favor the first generation more than anything else, and you mean to tell me that Rawin, Bear Tick, is supposedly better? And, and when did Cloyster leap fog over all the Kuno? I don't recall that happening. So yeah, that's a problem right there, that's a problem right there. Articuno, to be, in my in my personal opinion, should be the number one ice type attack in the game. You know what should be second? Reggie Ice, or Ice Reggie, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I'm going there. Yeah, the, the, the Reggie trios are treated like a joke in this game. They should be so much better in this game. It's not even funny, actually. All right, let's move on to the Psychic types. So the Psychic type is going to be pretty interesting. All right, here we go right here. Number one is Mewtwo. If they mess this up, we're gonna have a serious problem. But luckily, they did not mess this up. So, if memory serves you correctly, yeah. Then we got Darmani Khan Hyper has to join in second. Next up, Alakazam. Then Metagross. And then finally, another legendary, Latios. Okay. I, had, I have very little problem with this one. I don't know if that Darmani Khan should be better than Latios, even in the psychic type category. But whatever. Next up is Executor. Then we, go, then we got a Pokemon that's not in the game yet. Then Gondobar, then Galade. And then we got, as some of you will call it, God. And then Espeon, and then Mew. And here's where the problem is. This, this is where my question comes to play. Now, since how they basically re-released the new movie, literally like now, on Netflix, 
Remember what happened in the, in the original movie. Mew took on Mewtwo. And they were both pretty even. They were both pretty even. They went head to head. And neither one had the advantage over the other. But yet, in Pokemon Go, Mew is the number one psychic type in the game. But Mew is not up there. That's that's a problem. That's a problem right there. That's not realistic at all. Now, obviously, later on, Mewtwo going to get different forms like the X form and the Y form, whatever the case may be. That's not in Pokemon Go yet. So why isn't Mew right behind Mewtwo? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. All right, let's move on to Rock. So, yeah, good old Rock. The Rock. No, no, not that Rock. No, not that Rock either. They don't bring up Chris Rock. Just stop. And don't don't play that Facebook Rock commercial either. So just stop it. Come on! Right period. Number one Rock type attack in the game. Followed by Rampardo. The Tyranitar. Oh, look, here's a legendary finally. Terrakian. Okay, so again, the whole Sword of Justice fiasco. How strong do you think they should be? I always talk about Verizian. And I don't recall seeing Cabalion anywhere. But yeah, now we got Terrakian. So how far, how strong do you think these Pokemon should be? The, the, what is it, the Sword of Justice. And we're not featuring that, the little one. He's not even in the game yet. He's annoying his heck. But like the actual three. How strong do you think they should be? Terrakian should be stronger than Rampardo. In my opinion, it should be stronger than Rhyperion. Now, in terms of uh, either it's him or Tyranitar, that's a very good debate right there. That is a very good debate. Now, if we go down below him, we got Archeop, Omastar, and then Regirock, which is a problem. Again, the Regi has been treated like trash in this game, and that should not be the case. The Regi should be high, much higher on this list, and that is definitely true for Reggie Rock. Now let's move on to, we got two more to look at here. And the next one is water. Good old water. So, this is interesting. For some dumb reason, they got Palkia as the number one water type attack in the game, which is not true. Obviously the answer to that is Kyogre, which I have no problem with, which is realistic, because Kyogre is a beast. But yet, again, I gotta go back to the whole ground down scenario when it comes to the ground types. Kyogre and Groudon are pretty much even in terms of power and strength and all that. So how is the Kyogre number one in his type, but yet Groudon is like six or seven in his? That makes no sense. All right, let's move on, because I'm not done with this category. So if we go all the way down, all the way down, where are you? Where are you? We got to go. There it is right there. Suicune. How strong do you think Suicune should be? So if we look at Raikou, Raikou is basically for some odd reason second in the electro types. If we look at Entei, second in the fire types. Suicune, look at all these Pokemon that are ahead of it. Now granted, some of them are not in the game at this point in time, like Keldeo, for example, but in Manaphy, another example. But dang, Suicune is that garbage? I would think it was on par with Entei and Raiko, or Raiko, how do you want to pronounce that joint? That is ridiculous. That is blasphemous. That is... That is blasphemous! That is blasphemous! No, do not, don't, don't, no, do not use a Stephen A... No, 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 Okay, one more, and then I'm done with this video. One more. And the last one is Steel. Let's look at Steel. Number one steel type, Metagross, apparently. Next up is Dialga. And then we got Heatran. Obviously, Jirachi is there as well. But again, Metagross is better than the, all three of them. Okay, Metagross is better than Jirachi. I can see that. I, I don't recall how, I don't remember seeing the movie, that movie. But I can see Metagross being stronger than Jirachi. I can see that. But to say Metagross as a steel type is better than Dialga and Heatran. I don't see that at all. Again, Dialga is no joke. Heatran is no joke. When it comes to, you know, how powerful they are. Especially Dialga. Especially Dialga. But yeah, you mean to tell me Metagross is still stronger than both of those? No. I don't believe that for a second. Now, again, now granted, yeah, some of you might say, well, it's going to also depend on the type of moves that they have. Which is true. But then again, the problem here is we're talking about Pokemon, regular Pokemon, that are apparently stronger than legendaries, which should never 
be the case. It should never be the case. And that is a problem. That is a problem. So when you bring in like tornadoes, for example, which in my opinion should be the best flying type attacker in the game, but yet it's treated like crap, who's gonna do the raids? Like they only gonna go out for that first day or for a raid hour, assuming that the weather is nice, whatever. But then after that, they done. Everybody's done for the most part. So it's like, what's the point of raiding some of these legendaries where they're garbage? And that should never be the case with a legendary. That should never be the case with a legendary. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm really sick and tired of your sh**. Bro, the next time I see you, I do. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm going to straight up beat your You know what? I, I'm done. I'm going to end the video. I'm, I'm going to end the video. So I'm going to call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know what this is. This is your boy, the new Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. So are you are you going to fade me out? Can, can you? Oh, I, I thought this would be your best part. You faded me out. You faded me to black. You faded me to darkness. You ain't going to do it now? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm gonna hit and move away.